Welcome back. My name is Mark Hong. I'm the founder of MarkHong.com. And uh, in this video, let's talk about black box manufacturing. Okay, so what is black box uh, manufacturing? Well, let's uh, first talk about, um, just like the last lesson, we talked about managing your project. Now, one of um, a, a way that you can manage your project and uh, um, become more competitive and harder for your competitors to copy is doing it through black box manufacturing. Okay, uh, so you know this is one of the uh, the uh, biggest questions um, that I always get from people that well you know Mark um, how can I make sure that my product doesn't get copied? Okay, how can I make it uh, less accessible? for my competitor, and especially when your products are being sold on Amazon or you are doing some kind of e-commerce, if you have a great idea, a lot of time somebody you know, will see you on page one or you know, they see you somewhere and they go, hey, that's a great idea, let me copy it and let me just put my own product out there, right? So black box manufacturing is where you manage your project and make it difficult for your competitor to copy you. Okay, and this is a practice that we do quite a bit with OEM projects, with a lot of um, um, a lot of uh, uh, companies out there, and um, you know they want to make sure that they control uh, part of their manufacturing process and not releasing it to to every you know to just one single supplier okay that will hold all the cards and if they decided to sell it to someone else there's nothing you can do about that right most of small business don't manage their production okay and uh, which is not difficult but if you do manage your production correctly okay you can really take uh, advantage and make sure that your competitors um, not able to copy you or at least not easily you know uh, copying you make it difficult for them to to do that right so what you want to do is uh, you know you want to make sure that whoever that you're working with okay that you want to inquire about their manufacturers production schedule okay um, then for black box uh, man uh, manufacturing okay you want to make sure that it's difficult to be copied Right, and uh, uh, the disadvantage of doing that is obviously it's a little bit more complicated, but um, it, it can be done, all right? And it doesn't have to be uh, very complicated if you don't want, okay? So here are some of the basic steps to follow, right? So you want to make sure that you manage your own bill of material, right? In short, call it ball, right? And uh, um, you know, you can. Uh, like many of uh, my clients, what they do is um, they will, for example, if you are, um, say, making, you know, some type of electronic product, okay, and, uh, you know, you have, um, um, you know, you have, um, let's say, your, your um, uh, you know, one of the chip that goes inside of your product, right, and uh, you can acquire uh, you can buy that main chip right from a different supplier and have them ship it to uh, your uh, final assembly supplier right then that way okay uh, other people will not have access to that to that chip and then you know therefore they are unable to make the final product exactly the way you want even if they found your uh, you know your final supplier your you know the person assembling your product so um, for example right or you can multiple uh, manage multiple build material coming from different manufacturers so for ex for instance you have your packaging right made completely unique with a separate supplier okay and then um, you know if you have some type of sew sewing product um, you know, you have zippers or something like that. You can acquire a high, uh, a better grade or you know, a unique um, zipper, 
right? And, you know, and send that to the assembling uh, supplier. So they will not have access to the same stuff, okay? And then make it a little bit more difficult for your competitor to copy you, all right? So you'll want to, uh, in order to do that, you'll need to assign your own uh, supplier for final assembly, okay? And then um, again, you will also, uh, again, you will also, also need to appoint a third party inspector, okay, to um, check on your inventory, right, that arrives and also check on uh, the assembling part, right? Make sure that they are handling your products correctly, okay? And um, um, that's it, all right? So brainstorm, think about it a little bit, right? See how this might fit into your products, okay? Uh, the products that you want to make and uh, make it tougher for your competitor to copy you. Okay, that's it for this lesson and I will see you on the next video.